Okay, hello people, this is for my uh, new subscribers that don't know a lot about Magog and probably wonder why I do these. Okay, let me, let me talk a little bit about Magog. Now Magog is where I just mock on all, where I just make fun of old cartoons, TV shows, animes that don't make sense. Uh, which really isn't the case anymore. I make fun of like any kind of any kind of anime, and um, you know, two characters from existing animes um, are pretty much like the co-host are the co-host of the show. You know, we got An Sagamara, which is from Ninja Nonsense, and um. Basically, some people don't like his voice, but other people, some people do. You know, because everybody likes the yellow guy. Personally, uh, then I got a, I got Harima's, Harima's like emo esque voice, where it's you know a little dark, a little depressing, but it hasn't. I haven't really made it dark or depressing since um, I did a little. If you watch the show, you would kind of see why. Um, you know, it's just... And the reason I, you know, it's an audio thing. Because you know how long it would take for it to be... You know how long it would take for it to be animated? Like, seriously? You know how long? I mean, if you want to... If, uh, if I ever find some animators that want to animate... Um... Anime mock off maybe yeah I'll probably consider that but until then it's gonna stay it's old you know format and some of the stuff that uh, on there that that I um, talk about you know is usually just um, little jokes about you know I'll say like like um, uh, you know Ansel Kamara will go like what did, what did you do last night Bugsy and Bugsy will probably, you know, I will probably say in my normal voice, um, nothing, what, ha what happened to her? Something like that. You know, and pretty much, um, the first, um, the first two seasons that I did, uh, really just focused around, um, kind of halfway, if there was, like, any little story in mock -off that didn't have anything to do with any other anime, it really just centered around the fact that, um, you know, in my show, the Bugsy in there is uh, brothers to Ansakamaru and Harima. So, um, so you know, the two episodes actually centered around the fact of Harima, Harima, you know, leaving, you know, Bugsy and on Sakamaru for a while and then coming back and um, and how they kind of presented him so they based like episodes around him in like School Rumble and uh, pretty much that's pretty much how season one kind of went in, in a nutshell season two had to be my best one it was the longest one I've ever made um, so far uh, there was a lot of stuff, and uh, the one thing I'm a proud that I'm proud of, uh, we did a little parody of a Disney song, and uh, it was pretty much, uh, you know, that part in Hercules where, you know, um, Meg or Megara from Hercules, Disney's Hercules, is telling, telling the, uh, just talking to herself, saying that she shouldn't fall in love, and I kind of went. I kind of went, hmm, maybe I could use this for Harima. And then, you know, I did, and it was kind of was kind of bad when I think about it. When I look back at it, I, you know, there's some, like, words I kind of didn't say right, because back in those days, I was kind of still finding a good kind of medium for Harima's voice back then. Um, st still, still am to this very day. Well, in the recent episodes, it's a lot more better, but in the earlier episodes, he sounded a lot more silent and reserved, and pretty much that is what Harima is, even though he's depressed. 
uh, for like half of it. So I don't know. I just you know, but mock off is just something I do for like fun, fun you know, just to have fun. It's kind of what I kind of what I do. And a lot of people like it, and a lot of people keep waiting for me to do the mock off movie. But you know, I have other projects that need my attention, so I never really, I never really do. Um, I would never really have time for the mock for the mock off movie, and the original script I had for it, because yes, I did a little, I did a little writing for it for the first um, act, the first act or so, for it, and it was actually. It was actually like really funny, really funny banter between um, both, you know, both Bugsy or slash Argos as you, as any way you would like to call, or like how you'd like to call them, or you know, and uh, Haruma and I was like Maru, and I wanted to, you know, I wanted to capitalize on that in the movie, you know, you know Bugsy. And, and you know Bugsy Harima and you know just them like for the first act it would just be about them and how they all hang out a whole bunch of other stuff and I've uh I'm pretty much pre-established that they're already Saiyans yes and a lot of people like were up in arms about that like oh so Gamaru isn't a Saiyan um um Harima isn't a Saiyan so I've um, I've said also that in some of in like you know that's only in the anime and in actuality they they are Saiyans like the people that base the anime around them didn't want to say that they were Saiyans because they feel like they were copying off the of Dragon Ball Z so they didn't know about that so there that is. Um, this is the last stuff about mock-up I do. I have I kind of have this recurring gag that I kind of need to bust out a little bit more about uh, uh, Ansel Gamaru actually being Phantom Dark because I really think that joke is funny. You know, because Ansel Gamaru, you know, regularly he talks like this. But when he's Phantom Dark, he kind of talks like a little bit like this. Kind of like my regular voice, just... A little bit, a little bit reserved, a little bit, a little bit more suave, as I like to put it. Um. So, uh, you know, it's, you know, it's 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 just a crazy series that I do, and I love making it. And I just wanted to tell you guys what what um, what's what's it about, so you guys don't like go. Uh, I don't know what's going on here, and a lot of you get put off uh, when you when it's just a blank screen and you just hear like voices. I understand that because um, I understand that, but you know it's you know if you you basically sometimes you gotta just use your freaking imagination, like for all the like sight gags and stuff that I'll say like like go on second round, what you doing with that hat or something like that. Or all the other stuff like that. Um, but here's something funny. Here's here's something really truly funny. Uh, I did a vi I did a similar video like this uh, for the uh, Turnabout musical when we were kind of when I was kind of doing a mock off thing about the Turnabout musical with Turnabout musical jokes celebrating the fact that the uh, you know Phoenix Wright musical was uh, the demo the demo. Um, songs were kind of done, and I kind of wanted to do something with that. So, um, okay, so I so I thought, you know, hey, let me let me take a few take a few hours and kind of do this one thing and and see how it goes. So, um, one of the one of the representatives from the turn, one of the uh, art director and the producer was wondering like, what the crap was I doing? Like when I was doing the whole mock off thing, uh, and I told them, I told them specifically, um, I was doing just a mock off thing to kind of celebrate that you guys, that they um, kind of halfway completed the turnabout musical, and it was just my way of celebrating it. 
but then they didn't know what Makoff was. I mean, not a lot of people do. Not a lot of people do. And I understand that. So I had to make a similar video uh, about what was going on. So I just got to say, they, they actually watched it and were confused. And I kind of understand that. I mean, if you don't watch any of the episodes, you barely know what's actually going on. Or what, who's talking and blah, blah, blah. I, I said them all, I said them straight. I did this similar video to this one. Um, I gotta tell you, I was so freaking surprised. You don't understand how surprised I was that these guys actually probably just came across my video at a random and just saw it. They just like saw it. Uh, every time I think about it really, it, it really just makes me laugh. Um, what else, what else, what else? Um, you know. But that's pretty much my golf in a nutshell. I wanted to share that story with you because it was truly funny and uh, when when I found out they were actually the you know the guys that worked on the turnabout musical I laughed so freaking hard I swear to god I was drinking like I was drinking like uh, I don't know I think I was drinking I think I was drinking 7 up or uh, coke I, mean, I was drinking coke or 7 up and I was reading the comments of it and I found out they're the um there are the people that worked on the Turnabout musical, like the art director and the producer, and I, I laughed so hard. <laughs> In fact, and I had to move, I had to move. I was laughing so hard. I moved my keyboard to the side, and I shot, I shot like um, I shot like Seven Up straight out my nose. Not kidding. I shot it straight out of my nose, onto my desk. <laughs> I was so, I was just. So, so, I was, it was just so funny. I was so happy that they actually looked at it, but were confused about it. Uh, you know, I just had to set them all straight about it, you know. I swear to God, I'm going to redo that. Um, I'm going to redo that soon, uh, pretty much, because I didn't do all the songs, and I didn't, I kind of wanted to do it in my, on my kind of, on how mock up is now because in the um I did this around probably season one or season two. I can't really remember. Um, but you know, I wanted to kind of I did that to kind of unveil and part of the video is just on Sagamaru and um Hari just saying, This is this is guys night, man. we we should all be watching this together and Bugsy's just Sitting there making out with Lena, and he's like, and then Harima goes like, you know what we're sitting in, you know what we're sitting like two rows away from them while they're watching, while well, they're watching the musical, they're making out. So there was that. Um, I love doing that because you know the you know it shows that you know Bugsy can be as. Yeah, Bugsy can be about as love struck as Harima is when it comes to girls. So I kind of wanted to do that. Oh, this was a long video. And this is like, what, 13? Like, it's about to be like 14 minutes. <laughs> I swear to God, I didn't mean to keep you guys in here for this long. Even though I can make longer videos now. Well, see you guys later. This is Bugsy. The sole creator of Mock Off. Uh, tell, me, tell me if you have any suggestions for any cartoons you want me to mess with. Uh, I was thinking of messing with My Little Pony. Because I made uh, Harim uh, and one of the other characters that come on, that I do for my live events, actually, actually have them as bronies. Um... And seriously, I wanted to do that because it'd be kind of funny. So, um, see you guys later. This is Bugsy. Like I said, the soul creator, Mockoff. Saying, see you later. And if you have a request for any other cartoons you want me to mock on, just tell me. Tell me. PM me. Um, you know, PM me. Just PM me and I'll uh, see what I can do.
But it has to be a show that I can get off YouTube. Okay. See you guys later. See you guys later and bye-bye. See ya.